So, uh, though the Indian government plans to have a kind of uh, 8 crore electric vehicles on road by 2030, this is being announced. Uh, the number available today are not that encouraging. We all must agree with that. So, Mr. Avijit, uh, would you like to throw light on India's preparedness for EV revolution, if you can just tell us more about that? Two things, majorly, where, where we went wrong is, we always compare from beginning of the story, India's e-mobility transition is not a new story. It's at least a 10 to 12 year story when Manmohan Singh used to be our first Prime Minister who uh, have given, inaugurated one of the charging stations in 2011. I That station does not even exist today. It could not survive. From 2011 to 2020-22, it's a decade-long story of electric mobility where we always compared an electric car with a diesel or petrol car. While the problem was not in the car, the problem was in the infrastructure. So rather than comparing a car with another car, we should have always compared a petrol pump with a charging station. So that economically, technically, from the financing point of view, from utilization, ROI, asset management, and all type of earning, including the technical detailing of the standards, specification, and all ease of doing business and difficulty of doing business should be compared with an electric charging station and petrol pump. Second part which I would say is very important which we missed out in the in the beginning is there is a considerable saving someone who is electric vehicle or using electric vehicle or switching to electric vehicle does to their pocket when they switch from petrol or when they switch from diesel. That same part that comfort or that profit or saving is not translated to the end user who is actually comparing both of them. So commercial equivalence of this new transition is many of the places absolutely absent from the discussion, from the debate. So if today my house is powered by a grid and tomorrow my house is powered by a solar panel, including the storage, I should be knowing that what I'm going to save and what I'm going to invest. That's the kind of clarity we could not give to people who are for the fleet or for the individual purpose using or going to switch to an electric vehicle. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.